y'all let's get started on this hair so i'm starting off with my wash day routine my shampoo and conditioner is the love beauty and planet line and i'm using my vanity planet groove rejuvenating scalp massager i love the love beauty and planet line the shampoo gets my hair super clean and moisturized and the conditioner is moisturizing it has a lot of slip which i love so with my shampoo, I lather up my hair real good and then I go in with my scalp massager for a deep clean and a mini massage. This scalp massager is a great investment for your wash day routine. Alrighty, it is time to deep condition. I have been using the Miel Organic Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. I love a good, thick, deep conditioner because my hair is super thick, so I need all the moisture I can get, and this deep conditioner is super moisturizing. So after I apply my deep conditioner, I use my hot head heat cap. If you've been with me since day one, then you know in my first video, I talked about this cap. It is an essential part of my wash day routine. I will leave the link in my description box of my first video where I go into depth about this hot head heat cap. But y'all, please get into this heat cap. And I'm sorry if my heat cap looks very dirty. Cause it's been going through some things so I need to find a way to wash it without putting it in the washing machine because you cannot put this hot, hot head heat cap in the washing machine. Please don't. Whew, y'all. I can't stand my helmet head after I use this cap to deep condition. Mm, mm, mm. It's a sight. So now it's time to style my hair. So I go in with the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. For my oil, I'm going in with the Miel Manganga Oil Pomade to Oil Treatment. It comes out as this thick goo type of consistency and when you rub it in, it turns into oil, which I thought was cool as you can see the reaction on my face coming up. <laughs> Now we are getting into the perm rods. For my styler, I'm using the Wet Line Extreme Styling Gel. So I'm parting my hair and clipping the rest of my hair up so it doesn't get in the way. So I'm taking this amount of gel for each section that I part. Then I'm using my detangling brush that I got from the beauty supply store. So this is hard for me to explain, but as I'm rolling up my hair with the perm rod, I do this little twirl halfway. I hope that makes sense. You will see on the next few sections that I recorded. If you feel that your perm rod is loose, then tighten it up, but not too tight ladies because it's going to hurt. I'm about to get mad in 3, 2, 1, and boom. The perm rod popped. That's what I don't miss about perm rods. Aggravated. Uh, yeah. Here's, here's a little quick little update on my hair. Halfway there. I got hungry, so... I'm about to cook me some food, pop a pizza in the oven. That's why I'm making fries. I'm like really hungry. But yes. So, I'm gonna pop pizza in the oven. 
and then we'll be right back to finish this off i hope y'all enjoyed that little intermission lord i was so tired i've been at this hair since probably about 12 and started putting these perm rods in at 115 yeah i'm tired but let's keep on going Especially since I have the most thickest hair ever. I can't finesse it how I just can't finesse it. So I had to take my time on these. I think I started actually styling my hair maybe around two something, three something. I gotta go back and look at the tops on these videos and I'll leave it somewhere right here. And now it is currently 752. I am officially done. Well, it did help that I did take a break, but your girl's hungry. I know how I get. I get hungry, so I gotta eat. But yes, this is the final look of these perm rods. I'm not trying to make them too perfect. So yes, yeah, so I'm finally done, and I'm not sleeping in these perm rods. That, that's dead. <laughs> Nothing to do with it. I don't know how I had the willpower to do it in the beginning of my natural hair journey. <laughs> I was stupid because <laughs> the last time I put in perm rods, well, like two weeks ago, I put in some perm rods. I tried to lay it down a little. I said, oh no, I can't do it. So what I'm going to take is my inflatable bonnet dryer. So yeah, this is the inflatable bonnet dryer. If you have not seen it, and here's the little hole to attach my blow dryer whatever hair dryer take this heat protected spray this is by bl it's the but but mongol wait how do you pronounce i'm sorry how do you pronounce this the bon goggle i hope i am saying that right i can jack up some bird y'all like i'm an old person but this is their thermal and heat protected spray so let me get this a good little spritz and get it warmed up since I just bought it. Ooh, 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 what? <laughs> ooh, 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 I just got my ring light. Ooh, a little bit of my camera too. Alright, let me try this again. Ooh, that was my bed. Y'all, I'm crazy. Just Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but we do smell good. It smells good. It's not fine. I'm gonna sit under the bottom dryer for a minute. Um, probably between 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, I'll probably be back in front of be on the camera. Probably tomorrow. It'll be the next day. So yeah. Um I mean I'll no, scratch that. Rewind. Boo -boo. I'll come back on here when I feel like the curls are good and dry, like set in, and so I can show you how I unravel them to make them fall, make my curls fall a certain way, you know, you feel me? Okay, alright, so I'll be back shortly. Oh my gosh, y'all, never say never, so 
I slept in these perm rods. <laughs> I said I was going to come back on after I sat under. I sat under my body dryer. Well, this is what happened. After I got off the camper, I was just chilling. Just chilling, watching old Disney movies. So, probably for a good, like, maybe 20 minutes. But most, I was in an air dryer or whatever. And then I went in with the body dryer. And I wasn't really paying attention to the minutes because me watching a movie, you know time could go by fast. So probably like 30 minutes I sat under the dryer, then I took it off, air dryer for a few more minutes. Then I went back under the dryer on a new movie <laughs> and sat there for an extra 20 minutes. So, and then I got so tired. I got very lazy. <laughs> I was like, bro, I do not feel like getting up and <laughs> record and take out these rods. So I tested it out last night. I was like, let me see how I feel laying down on this. And I worked my head a certain way. Your girl was knocked. <laughs> so I said, look at that. I guess I can still do it, but let's see how it goes the next time I do these perm rods. If these perm rods come out good. I don't know how I did it, but I did. Start in the back. And then how I'm about to do it, I'm gonna try to like do it like this. So you see that bounce? Ooh, it's looking cute. Like I said, I'm gonna do it for a few more times because y'all, this is my first time doing like an in-depth hair tutorial like this. So bear with me. So I'm gonna wrap a little bit, and then do it like this, and then oh. so like I said, I'm gonna do it for a few more times and then speed up the process. Ready. My leads are out, so. so to unravel my curls, I'm using the Miel Organic Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Rejuvenating Oil. Y'all, this smells so good and it gives a good tingle on my head, which I love. So this is the final look. I separated my curls some more off camera to cover up those gaps. But I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on the next one. Bye and stay safe out here.